uh, that was a lot for me to that, that that was you gave me a lot of material at the beginning, and I really think that a lot of other blind people are going through the same mess. You know, I mean, by by the way, is um, by the way, is is busking illegal in Canada? No, not not. It's funny because in London, it's oh, it's okay, but in Toronto, you have to have a license. Yeah, it's illegal in. I think it's illegal in England. I think it's illegal in the UK, but they turn yeah. a blind eye to it. Um, yes. Yeah, it it can be bothersome to other people, though. I mean, it's it's not a reason for these people to be so so ignorant and immature, but you know, it it can make people uncomfortable sometimes to see musicians, you know, playing and then expecting money. That can that can make pe- make other people uncomfortable about it. Can it can really um, so it. It makes you know, it, it, yeah. I mean, like we talked about the podcasting thing, busking thing. I could have done it years and years and years ago, but it was nerves. But one day, I decided I was just going to go out and do it. Okay, so this is this is the whole point. This is the whole point. So, I you're you're going to have to decide that you're a talk show host and you're a podcaster. You're just going to have to upload one episode. And you're just going to have to do your best. And then whatever happens from there happens from there. But you're just going to have to do your best. I've had a lot of, like I said, you were talking, I had a, like, you were talking about one mm-hmm. podcast. I've had ideas for like a million, I guess, podcasts I want to do. Well, you only need one title. You only, basically, you only create one title for your podcast. You only create one, one profile. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically that's, that's how it works. And then you upload episodes and then they're shared and then you build up a following and then, um, and then stuff, and then stuff like that. Yeah. That's, that's how this works. But I, I mean, you know, I, I think, I think we have a lot in common and I think that our stories are probably much more similar than you're even aware. I mean, you, you, you have told more about you than I have told you about me, you know? So I think if you heard, and none of it would surprise you, all of the bullying that I've gone through, all of the profound, gross harassment that I've gone through in my life. Um, it was disturbing. I, I will tell you. It was, it was podcast material. I will, I, I will tell you for that. But I, I haven't made episodes about that because I don't need to. And the, the, the point of life is that sometimes, sometimes, oftentimes, more often than not, not, you do need to move on. And you need, to find, you need to find avenues where you can feel like you're helping one person. See, that's the trick. You got to feel, if, I, if I'm able to help Rob, just one guy, then that's good. Because I just helped a million other people in his situation. And once you understand this equation then you're going to be fine. You know, knowing your audience is everything in podcasting and and, ta- and, and on radio. You got to know who you're talking to. I know exactly who I'm talking to. And if I don't, you know, post this episode in the right group, right? If I send it to the wrong person to be edited and published, you know, then, you know, then, then we have problems, right? Then the wrong people listen or Usually people don't listen at all because if the episode isn't something something that they relate to, then they don't want to listen to it. Exactly. So, you know, you got you to gotta focus in your audience. And once you do, then you start getting these other opportunities. You start getting opportunities where someone comes up to you and say, I mean, Rob, w- wouldn't you be inspired if someone reached out to you on Facebook and say, said, uh, hey, Rob, um, I heard your podcast. Do you want to be on the radio? Definitely. Wouldn't that? Right. So that's all, that's all you have to do. You, you told me before earlier that you know people in London, Ontario who have radio stations, right? Yes. Yes, I do. So uh, one particular, what? um, I know someone who runs a radio sta- a volunteer Western station or a program manager of a London station that's voluntary, a volunteer, volunteer. Well, for one thing, for one thing, after the show and then in, in future, I, I would like the opportunity to speak to them about what I do, uh, because they probably the, these stations, these internet stations, they need more content. You know, they really, they really do. But look, if you're in the same city, okay, 
why haven't you spoken to them? This is what I'm trying to get, trying to nail down here. Why haven't you spoken to them? What's, what's going on? Oh, I've spoken to him. Okay. So this him, we'll call him him. So what did him tell you? <laughs> well, him gave me his phone number or well, his first day, you know, his cell number. And yeah, you know, I, I reached out to him and I told him I wanted a radio show on his, uh, you know, a radio show. Right. And him said, you know, well, because there's a lot of radio shows on there. I said, well, there's also, you can either do, we also need people for ads, for news weather, news and weather reports. Mm, mm -hmm. Me, I guess I could do that, but I'd rather have my own show. I don't know. Say, say in the news and weather, that would be pretty cool. Never had that chance. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I haven't. And, you know, maybe that would be cool. And maybe what's just stopping me is, was me because. You know, yeah. Yeah. I know the you know, times that he has training, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like, yeah, yeah. We're going to, we're going to do some stuff. Some stuff. I, this guy's going to end up getting a message from me. I got to, I got to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do some looking into it. You have to do some look into here to see who these people are because I I because I believe in I, I believe in me and you know what listener if you if you hate me if you hate Aaron's opinion good go listen to something else if exactly you if you love me great thanks for listening you know the same really, with me if you wanna mm -hmm. if you hate what I'm having to say go turn off your computer right if right you go love on what I have to say. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for, lis for listening to me. It means a lot. It means everything, you see. You would be surprised. You know, my confidence has skyrocketed since Apple, since being on the station. I mean, I didn't know I could do these things. I didn't know I had the ability. People have been telling me for years, oh, Aaron, you should be on. You, you are fascinated by talk radio. You deserve to be on talk radio. You should be on talk radio. People have been saying that for years to me, but I never, but the thing is, you never believe yourself until you step out of your comfort zone, right? Until exactly. you really, until you really jump in over your head and then you have a success. And then you say, wow, I'm glad I took that step. Well, that was a little hard, but I'm glad I did it. I've had a lot of exper I've had a lot of experiences like that, um, and one in particular. I'm I'm not going to get into it now. I don't have time, and it's, it gets us way off track. Actually, it's kind of a personal thing. I'll tell you about it um, if you want some other time. Okay, if I yeah, happen, if sure. I happen to remember it, it, but I want to go backtrack to what yeah. you said. Oh, yes, yes, back backtrack. And by the oh, by the way, listener, by the way, lis l listener, we're coming. We're coming down the home stretch on radio tonight. Eight around eight minutes left. Okay, backtrack go. Um, I if I if I like say if I would have you know went to your podcast and I clicked on an episode and I said ah uh, it doesn't sound interesting to me I would have lost out if I hadn't listened to that episode because the reason why I say I would have lost out I would never get to your I'd never get to hear the episode. I would have lost out on a great friendship, great person, all because I didn't want to hear an episode, that a topic that he was covering. Right. And I appreciate you saying that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I mean, I don't know, if I, but, how, but I listened and I I do, and I'm glad I did because then I listen to another and and another and and another, and you get to know someone. By yeah, you do, you do exactly, exactly. And I love, I challenge, you know, anybody if I can to if they ever, you know, listen to my, um, listen to me and they love, they love what they hear. Send me a message on Facebook. Yeah. Or send me, or send me, I mean, since it's my show, it's. it's oh yeah. Hard. Send Aaron a message. Yeah, I don't want to steal his. his no, no. Well, well, the, the, the technicality there is it's kind of hard for them. It would be kind of hard for someone to reach out to you because you don't have your podcast yet. You know, just because oh. you're being heard, that makes it a little bit technically more difficult. You know, you, okay, you reach out to Aaron own. and Aaron will, Aaron can. I'll let, I'll let him know. I'll let Rob know. Exactly. 
but we gotta we gotta we gotta do something about about this this is a case that that your your case and your your determination to be a podcaster and to tell the world your story is um is a case that i want to solve and in a, in a problem that i want to solve for you and really for the world so that the world has better and better things to listen to because you're you're a really talented speaker and your your monologue when you came in today was stellar and i think it just really 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 you know really really sticks to people's ribs i think people can really understand and relate to what you said tonight which is why i'm so frustrated that i can't get you to get into podcasting because we you've got to get into this because if you have a podcast if you have a way of of educating people globally you never know how many more people you would discover are in your same predicament you know exactly <clears throat> so in the end, I'm going to help. We're, we're going to help each other. I'm going to help you. I I would like. I'm I'm have the courage to say this. Um, I would like to be put in touch if you would like. I would like to learn more about these particular people that you know of in Canada who have a station. Um, are they going? Are they going to put me on? No, probably not. But free country, right? Exactly. Listen if you want. Don't listen if you don't want. I don't really care. Quite frankly, I just want to learn about I just want to learn about other radio stations and what they do because I think that other radio stations are desperate for content. Well, uh, I'm going to put you in touch with. Um, well, well, it's not true. That's not name drop. No, let's not name drop. We don't want to do that. You know. No, I'm not going to drop names. But it's not the. I'm not talking about the radio station. I'm talking about the internet radio guy in London. Okay. I think with love, love. I think he would love to have your content on his program. Maybe it's just my opinion. Or maybe it's or maybe it's my opinion. All right then. We have about three minutes. Um do you I, I, I want you to really send us home with a brief message that you want the listener to walk away with tonight when they when they finish listening to this. What do you want them to remember about this episode? I want you to remember that you know, I want you to remember that if you ever feel like I do, if you ever feel like you're not worth anything, you are. You're worth something. You're, and, you're, and beauty is not just skin deep. Beauty is what's on the inside. Beauty, or maybe, I hope I'm not saying this wrong, but beauty is on the inside. People, it, beauty is not looks. Beauty is personality. So you are beautiful. Doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter what you wear. You are beautiful just the way you are. Yeah. Now, uh, would you like me to... Uh, Ooh. Play a little on the saxophone. Um, we're, I feel bad. We did such a good do job talking. It's not really fair. You only have about a minute. And then I'm, I would just interrupt you for the station close. See? So, you know, yeah. <clears throat> um, I think all of that is really, is really interesting. And I think that this is what other blind people need to be, need to be listening to. And I think really it is the experience of so many blind people um, all over, all over the world, you know? So, yeah, I mean, uh, how often, I mean, just to, you know, kind of talk about, you know, small talk, simple things. I mean, what, what, what did you do today? For, for example, did you, did you play some music for people today? What, what did you do? Oh, I, I, um, I was just talking on here. Well, I know, but the rest of the day today, before you came, came in. I ordered a pizza. No, I ordered some chicken wings. I already had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I All guess right. what I meant is beauty is only skin deep. I'm screwing up sayings, but you probably know what I mean. <laughs> You're all beautiful the way you are. You don't how, about just, know. how about just the way you are? Just the way you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.